All right, guys, so take a look at this bike. This is an Indian FTR 1200, kind of like a, almost like a, it, there, apparently there's like nothing like it. It's kind of like the cross between a sport bike and like a, kind of like a cruiser, <laughs> which is pretty wild. All right, let's see. Uh, to turn this thing on, oh, it has a, it has a key. Ah, oh, that's a little bit different. Oh. All right. Has to be in neutral. Has to be in neutral. All right. All right, guys, so we're going to start in standard mode. Apparently, you hit the switch up here to change the different modes. And this has a really kind of a... <laughs> A really super sensitive clutch. <laughs> uh, that friction zone. All right, that's the second time I've ever stalled a bike on a test drive. All right, so this has like a completely different friction zone than any of your other Indians. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> this is completely different. This is like, uh, it's almost like, uh, it's almost like Harley Davidson's Pan America. It's like completely a different build than all your other engines. The, the, the friction zone is really super close. Really small friction zone, and it's really super close to the <laughs> really super close to the grip, which I really like. It seems like once you get used to it, it's a lot easier because you're not like fishing around for the friction zone. So pretty nice so far. It kind of feels, it's, it's an interesting stance. You're slightly leaned forward on this one. My feet are pretty far back, which seems like it's a little bit more comfortable. Let's see, standard Indian blinkers, kind of like the same as your, kind of like a Honda blinker, where you have like an all-in-one on your left side. You press in the middle to cancel. All right, so let's see. Yeah, you can wind this one out a lot more. <laughs> so I'm like in a standard mode, which is like the middle mode. Usually once you get up to the the sportier modes, it's it's a lot more responsive. It feels like a completely different bike. <laughs> this thing, I don't know. It's, it's weird because it feels so small compared to everything else I've been driving. But I feel like I'm comfortable. Like it's, I'm six foot four, 230 pounds, and this bike feels really comfortable. And I kind of like how my, my legs are almost, <laughs> my knees are a little bit below the top of the gas tank. And it's super, super flick, <laughs> super easy to move back and forth. Almost, uh, almost too easy, which is pretty wild. And I'm actually sitting slightly forward where there is some pressure. Oh man, so if I actually extend my arms completely, I'm still even slightly forward. This kind of has like a, almost like a sport bike kind of a engine feel to it where it seems like most of your, uh, I'm actually going to put it in sport mode. That's the cool thing about Indians too, is that the touch screens, you can actually just take regular leather gloves and uh, go back. Let's see. So yeah, so it has a little action switch like right here. Then you press that and it goes into the different settings which is pretty nice. And kind of the weird thing about these Indian displays is it almost looks like it's like it's printed paper, which is kind of the weirdest thing on those displays. It doesn't even look like it's a digital display. It's like someone printed it and taped it on there or something. All right, so we kind of have a, our pack is split up. So I'm actually going to pull over here because we kind of split up the pack. We're gonna everyone back on track here. There's so many people today because of this rally. All right, so we're back on the road. Back is a group. Wow, wow, <laughs> this thing's got some serious power. Uh, this is almost, it almost has a feel kind of like the Pan America, I would say. Pretty similar as far as it kind of like an off-road. They said there's really nothing like it. So, so the Pan America from Harley Davidson is kind of more like a, I'd say it's more like a sport adventure bike. And I'd say this one's kind of like, 
kind of like a, kind of like a sport adventure, except you're more towards the sport side versus the adventure side. So kind of the weird thing is, I'm in Top Gear at 40. Wow. So let's see. I, the, the one thing about the speedometer is uh, the sun glare kind of blocks it. Where I can't really see very good from the sun glare. Which is kind of a bummer. It's like glaring where I can't see how fast I'm going. I can't see the RPM, which is pretty wild. Has a little tiny windshield on the front. But yeah, this is kind of geared. I'm like in top gear. I'd say maybe I'm at 3,000 RPM <laughs> at 47. So it's almost geared like a sport bike to where you'd, yeah, you'd want to be in like a higher RPM on this bike. So you kind of want to stay in like a higher, I don't see the RPMs on this, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, once you get in the higher RPMs, it is super, super torquey. <laughs> yeah, you have to really rev it up. So there's a lot of wind, a lot of wind. It seems like it's a really clean wind on this one too, which I really like. It seems like that windshield's kind of blocking all the wind from my uh, from my chest, but it's putting all the wind up on my helmet. My feet are really super far back. I can put like the balls of my feet on the pegs. I'm not going back. It seems like the, the shifter is at a good distance from the peg, which is nice. Uh, the back brakes, back brakes. Well, we'll see at the next stop with the back brakes are. They're not super touchy. I know on a lot of your sport bikes, Let's see, we're going, we're going pretty fast here. Yeah. We're going 63. This is pretty wound out for 63. Seems like some higher RPM, but the kind of the interesting thing on this one is we're pretty wound out, but we're not getting a lot of buzziness in the handlebars. So, you know, if you actually have some of your sport adventure bikes, you get a lot of the buzziness in your handlebars. This one, it's really smooth for being kind of wound down. I think I think this is more designed to be ridden like a in higher RPM, like a sport bike. It's a really interesting bike. <laughs> I don't know how fast this goes as far as the maximum speed. It's all digital on this one. The one thing is, is I cannot see how fast I'm going because of the glare on the screen. So that's kind of a negative I'd say it says 40 something <laughs> but I can't tell how fast I'm going which is pretty wild lots of wind you know kind of the interesting thing is it's almost refreshing to have some wind after getting off those baggers and having all the wind blocked there's just something about being in the wind and the open air that's just really refreshing as far as the suspension the suspension is it's actually pretty surprising. It's pretty smooth. I'm actually surprised at how smooth the suspension is on this one. I'd say by far this has the best suspension. Uh, I think I just hit the, the horn. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> So yeah, this is probably the best suspension I've ever seen on any type of, even, even like a sport bike or a sport touring bike, anything like that, really good suspension. Super good suspension. This bike is really fun. The, the handlebars are, are kind of twitchy. <laughs> it's, a, it's really super twitchy. Really very responsive. It's, it's one of the funnest bikes, I think. The other thing is, I don't know if you can tilt this display. I was wishing I could kind of tilt the display to kind of take some of the glare off. Good. Good. So the one thing you have to really keep in mind on this one is the friction zone. Take a look at this. I'm like all into friction zones. You, you let it out like half an inch and you start in the friction zone and then you let it out maybe another half an inch and you're all the way out. So. And it's just because the friction zone is completely different than all your other Indians. And look at this one. This one doesn't have any play in the throttle. You give it a little bit of throttle and you're 
instantly giving it gas, unlike all your other Indians. So that's kind of interesting too. It's like it's not. It's like it's like it's not even an Indian. It was like completely redesigned from the bottom up. It's a pretty awesome little bike. I actually like it. I was actually surprised so far. I'm surprised mostly at the suspension driving on the road. I was actually surprised you, you actually get about, you know, 45 miles per hour and you're like in high gear kind of winding, <laughs> winding out the RPMs. And you know, yes, this is actually designed to be, oh, let's see, all right. Here we go, here we go. We're driving with a bunch of people. We don't want to go too fast. <laughs> wow, wow, this thing really roars. Higher RPM. <laughs> and kind of the interesting thing about this is that a lot of bikes that are that powerful, uh, when, when you actually give it some gas, if, if a lot of times it'll actually feel like the front end's gonna lift up. But this one, since you're leaning forward a little bit, you have a little, I think you could lift the front end on this one. <laughs> Which can kind of surprise you. Yeah, this is a completely different beast. I'd say this is more sport bike than dirt bike for sure. But it kind of gives you that, yeah, so we're like in top gear going 53 and it's pretty revved out. Uh, I'd say the RPM's probably maybe 4,000 or something like that. So this bike is definitely designed to be revved like a sport bike. Yeah. Which, you don't actually rev it like that, it gives you a little bit of buzziness on the handlebars. Not too bad though, compared to your sport bikes or your, some of your other adventure touring bikes. Yeah. Seems pretty stable, not as stable as you'd see like in your, your big cruisers or your baggers or something like that. I'm getting a lot of wind. <laughs> getting a lot of wind. It's, it's almost like I don't have a windshield at all, honestly. It kind of just takes the, the pressure off my chest. But I'm getting really clean wind up on the helmet. No choppy wind, no buffeting at all. Uh, maybe... Uh, you can feel... It, it seems like it has a thinner front tire than a lot of your Indians to where it's a little bit twitchy. Uh, not, not really in a, in a bad sense, where it's like unstable, but really super responsive. Which is kind of interesting. Yeah, we're going about 50. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Doesn't seem as well planted as some of the big Indians, of course, because it has thinner tires. I think it's a... It's a I'm sure it's a lighter bike. I'd, I'd say it's probably not much more than 500 pounds, I'm guessing. This one's just kind of feeling it. It feels like a, a smaller bike. But I'm pretty I'm surprised at how stable it is for being such a small bike. You know, sometimes you get the small bikes out, and I think most of the times with small bikes, a lot of times it's the suspension that kind of gets you. Uh, as far as deceleration, it decelerates pretty good. I'm not really comfortable enough to wave at another biker in this. <laughs> I think as I'm just lean forward and, uh, yeah, going one-handed with this really sensitive handlebar is, I think it takes a little bit getting used to, where on some of your bigger bikes, like your, your baggers and cruisers from Indian especially, it seems like they're really stable. It seems like a lot of them have thicker tires on the front, which really gives them a lot more stability. This one, uh, not quite as stable as some of those, but a lot smoother. Really nice suspension. I'm actually really surprised. The front and the back, no, nothing's really jarred me at all, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is really fun bike, really super fun. Uh, it takes a little bit to get used to this, I think, just because it's a little bit smaller. You have to get up in the higher RPM, so it's a completely different beast than any of your other Indians. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, if you look at the mirrors, uh, they're not quite as convex as you'd actually see in uh, 
than some of your Indian mirrors. I actually prefer just the regular Indian mirrors, kind of the, the teardrop that are that gives you a lot more view behind you. This is just this is just it has some roar to it. It seems like all the Indians, no matter what you're on, has a pretty good stock exhaust. It's a lot better. <laughs> It's a little tiny baby roar to it. <laughs> it actually, it, it's, it's actually surprising the roar that comes out of this bike for being such a small bike, which is pretty amazing. Super slow speed stability, you know, like one mile an hour, not too good. You have to kind of move the handlebars back and forth a little bit. All right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Super fast, super twerky. That's, I don't know, it's, it's hard to get used to after all those other ones. Because you have to have a higher RPM, the friction zone is really super close to the, the handlebar. I don't want to stall this thing again. <laughs> the other thing is, is it kind of tricks you as far as where the pegs are and the clutch and then the friction zone and the gas. It's all so completely different than those bikes. Wow. This bike is like completely different. It's, not, it's like I'm not even riding an Indian. It takes a little bit. You know, when I actually you know, started out from a stop, I like put my feet up and I was like, where's the pegs? Where's the pegs? Because they're, they're like so far back compared to all your other bikes. Now, as far as the seat, the seat's pretty hard. My butt's hurting. It's pretty small, pretty hard. I don't know if you could drive this bike uh, for more than a couple hours and your butt would be hurting, I'd say. I want to upgrade the seat on this one which is kind of weird. It's like one little spot right on my tailbone. All right, so it's kind of weird how this thing is geared. And then the friction zone and the throttle and just everything about this bike turned around the corners. It seems really super sensitive to any input from the steering wheel, which is pretty wild. a completely different beast i'd say it's more sport bike sport bike like than anything else that i've ever driven without actually driving like a uh, like a sport bike it's almost like a it's almost like a sport touring bike that is actually geared more like a sport bike which is kind of interesting because it has more of the upright stance and the handlebars are a little bit further up It has the, the stance of a sport touring, but it has the transmission and the engine of a sport bike. Which is kind of interesting. Yeah, this is a fun little bike. It's definitely hurting my butt though. <laughs> which is interesting. It's so light, it's all, it almost feels like I could just pick it up. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Wow, there you go. That is the FTRS, powered by 1,203cc liquid-cooled V-twin, 120 horsepower, 87 foot-pounds of torque with a six-speed transmission, and it has a key, which is a little bit different. All right, guys, there you have it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.